Croatia have finally joined the EU as its 28th member. Though the country is reportedly suffering from high youth unemployment levels, poor international credit rating and has the dubious honour of being the second most corrupt state in the European Union. In spite of the worries that the nation's debt would drag down the rest of the EU, apparently these qualifications are actually quite ideal for attaining membership. <laughs> Prince William and Kate Middleton have sparked outrage this week regarding the refurbishment of their home. The royal couple's renovation of their mansion is reportedly being paid for with £1 million worth of taxpayers' money. This coming less than a week after the Chancellor and part-time Prince of Darkness George Osborne announced further billion pounds worth of cuts to the British economy. Postal workers in the suburb of Cornwall have apparently refused to deliver mail down a road which is being inhabited by a flock of seagulls. The resident post office has claimed that it is merely protecting its workers from being attacked by the birds as they aggressively defend their young among the nests. I guess the notion of postmen wielding firearms in this case isn't such a far-fetched idea. Prime Minister David Cameron is set to offer £1 million of taxpayers' money to whoever can solve the world's biggest problem, of which can be whatever anyone can decide upon. That wouldn't happen to be Britain's floundering economy now, would it, Dave? In Formula One, tyre manufacturer Pirelli are set to issue Kevlar belt tyres to replace the ones currently being used by the drivers following the chaos at the British Grand Prix at the weekend. Hopes of fixing McLaren's title challenge, however, are not looking as promising. And now for the weather. If you look behind me, you'll see a strong wet front followed by increased temperatures in the lower regions. Thank you for watching the News Roundup.